I'm sure at one point in your elementary school years, you've wondered, how deep do you gotta dig before you reach the center of the Earth? How far could it be? Well, there are quite a number of deep holes around the world that certainly make you wonder if going inside them can bring us closer to the core of our planet. Could that even be an option for us humans? Well, today we're gonna be looking at the 10 deepest holes in the world. Number 10, the Devil Sink Hole, USA. The first hole on this list is not as deep as the others, but as its name implies, it's a very creepy one. The Devil's Sinkhole in Texas is a deep vertical cavern with an opening that is 50 feet wide. An interesting fact about this spot is that some people believe that Native Americans have used it as a burial place for their dead. Some people have even found arrowheads and burned rocks in the site, which only confirms the theories that the sinkhole is in fact the stage of some type of ritual. Every summer, there are around 3 million bats that visit the place, and you can see them emerge from the caverns as the sun goes down every day. Honestly, it kind of looks like something out of a Batman movie. Pretty creepy, though, huh? That doesn't stop tourists from visiting this spot, which is perhaps one of the few holes on this list that serves the purpose of being a tourist attraction compared to others that are not open to the public. Number 9. Chambayori, India India is a place full of mystery and incredible sights, but nothing in the country, or perhaps even in the world, compares to Chambayori. Let's start by pointing out the fact that they have one of the longest staircases I've ever heard of. With 3,500 steps, this staircase leads you down a 100-foot deep well in which people used to save water during monsoon season just so they could survive the regular arid environment that surrounds this place. This place was built between 800 and 900 AD, and it was built in a terrace structure. It has three sides that serve as wells, and a fourth side that is a temple dedicated to Harshatmata, the Hindu goddess of joy and happiness. On top of all that, I'm sure everybody who benefited from this well was very happy. Chambayori is an Abhanheri, which is a village in Rajasthan, a place in India that is beautiful, but it's also known for its hot temperatures and limited sources of water. Today, Chambayori is not used as a well anymore, but it's still a cool site for anyone who desires to visit this part of the country. In fact, it attracts national and international visitors, including crews that have turned it into a filming location for many films. You've actually probably heard of one of these movies already, The Dark Knight Rises. Number 8. Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory, Antarctica. Remember how I said some of the holes in this list are not open to the public? Well, here's one of them, the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory in Antarctica. Just looking at its location can give you an idea of why it's not open to regular visitors. The observatory is part of the Amsden Scott South Pole Station, and thanks to the contribution of the University of Wisconsin, the observatory has enough equipment to collect data from the depths of the Earth to the surface above. It has more than 80 cables and 60 digital optical modules that reach depths of 4,750 feet all the way to 8,000 feet underneath the ice. If that sounds pretty crazy, wait until you hear all the time and effort it took for people to build this place. Overall, it took seven years to drill the holes for the cable, and they had to use a hot water hose to melt around 200,000 gallons of water per hole. All of this was made just so scientists can do deep studies of neutrinos, which are one of the most abundant particles in the whole universe. Studying them can help us learn new things about energy in our planet and in our solar system. Number 7. Murny Mine, Russia. Murny Mine is fully off limits. In fact, some people claim that there are winds around the mine that can easily suck helicopters into its spiral pit. And that hole is 1,700 feet deep, so you totally want to avoid getting trapped in it. The size of this mine is the equivalent to a 150-floor building if it were upside down. The place was first spotted by humans in 1955 when a group of geologists found parts of a volcanic rock called kimberlite. Kimberlite usually has to do with diamonds. For that reason, they developed a mine in 1957, even though the climate conditions were a bit harsh. At some point, they were producing around 2,000 kilograms of diamonds per year. Then the production slowed down. Operations finally ceased in 2001, and by 2004, the mine closed down for good. Today, the place is abandoned, and even though it was the source of a precious rock, it is now best to stay away from it. Number 6. Berkeley Pit, USA Also in 1955, the U.S. opened Berkeley Pit in Butte, Montana. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that, but I'm not from Montana. The place's main purpose was to get copper, and they were able to dig a hole of about 1,700 feet before the place ceased operations in 1982. Now the place is filled with about 900 feet of rainwater and groundwater. The bad thing about water in this mine is the fact that it makes contact with chemicals and metals that were used during the mining years. This causes the water to become acidic and gives wildlife away. In fact, more than 300 snow geese died in these waters back in the 90s. 
Today, it's not clear what steps are being taken for the improvement of these waters, but authorities are doing their best to keep birds away to prevent more tragedies from happening. Number 5. Diavik Diamond Mine, Canada Compared to other holes on this list, the Diavik Diamond Mine is relatively new. It started operations in 2003, and so far it's reached the 600 feet deep mark in the Arctic side of Canada. This mine is on East Island in Lac de Graz, which is a place off the northeastern side of a city called Yellowknife. It is pretty far, so the mine can only be accessed by plane. Their runway is big enough for a regular plane to land, but it's also quite icy. For that reason, it's only possible to land here when the weather conditions allow it. But despite the ice and the harsh weather conditions, the mine is able to produce around 1,500 kilos of diamonds per year. Number 4. The Kimberley Diamond Mine, South Africa before this place turned into a hole, it looked like some sort of hill. But once miners began working in 1866, the place turned into one of the deepest man-made holes in history. In fact, they called it the Big Hole, or also Tim Kula Mine. At first, it sank to more than 700 feet deep. That was with the first 50,000 miners that came to work on it. And by the year 1914, the hole had reached a width of 1,500 feet. While mining for diamonds can be rewarding, there were also a lot of accidents in this place. They were usually caused by rock falls, rock bursts, explosions, and other conditions that were not ideal for inexperienced and tired miners. These usually led to strikes and people would stop working until the cause of the accidents were rectified by their superiors. There's actually even a poem inspired by everything the miners lived through. Today though, the place is a tourist attraction, and there's also a museum that shows us a bit of the history of this place. Some people are also working towards making it a World Heritage Site, which makes sense due to all the history and meaning that it has for the people who once worked here. How many mines have a history as long as this one? Number 3. The Bingham Canyon Mine, USA Bingham Canyon Mine is the world's largest copper mine. It's more than 100 years old, and it's in the Okira Mountains towards the southwestern side of Salt Lake City in Utah. The mine is as deep as three quarters of a mile, and it takes up the space of about 1,900 acres. While a lot of the mines I listed today are no longer operating, this one in Utah is actually still open. It's been active since the year 1906, and it is now considered a National Historic Landmark in the U.S. I guess this is a place you must visit if you ever go to Utah. There's a spot where you can watch and enjoy this mine. That is, if you're into that, of course. I mean, it is pretty impressive that they've been open for so long, so you might as well check it out if you're around. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The picture I chose for the day shows one that is very famous, the Great Blue Hole in Belize. I'm sure that's a picture that comes to your mind when you think of deep holes around the world. However, the one in Belize is not the deepest one of them all. However, things have changed as a new site in China has led people to discover what is now considered the deepest blue hole in the world. That being number two, Dragon Hole, China. When people became aware of the Dragon Hole, it automatically became the deepest blue hole in the world. With more than 300 feet deep, this attraction is owned by local people as the Eye of the South China Sea. This wonder of nature is part of a group of islands called the Paracel Islands, and the Blue Hole was discovered by a group of fishermen who were just going about their day when they spotted something that was obviously going to point the eyes of the world towards their hometown. Local authorities used robots to explore the spot, and it was through a robot that they found how deep this Blue Hole really is. Studying the Dragon Hole can help scientists understand stuff like climate change, marine life, and other data that is relevant for us today. The Dragon Hole is indeed impressive, but a recent discovery might overshadow this spot somewhere in the near future. As of today, a group of explorers are getting ready to find out if there's a deeper blue hole off the coast of Florida. They call it the Green Banana, and they bet it's deeper than the Dragon Hole. I guess really only time will tell. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Kola Super Deep Borehole, Russia The deepest hole in the world is in Russia. It is called the Kola Super Deep Borehole and it's 7.5 miles deep. If you're a decent walker, you can cover a mile or two in about 15 minutes. 7.5 miles would take you between one and a half to two hours. Even if you're fast, it would still take you a bit of time to cover this long distance. Well, imagine covering that distance while going down. That's how deep this hole actually is. It's actually considered to be deeper than the deepest part of the ocean. It took about 20 years of digging to get this far down, and once they reached that depth, it was impossible to get going. 
The temperature was so high that no digging tool could perform in these conditions. This super deep borehole was closed over in 2008, and I'm sure it's going to be a long time before someone can go deeper than this. Would you ever go explore one of these places? Which one looks interesting to you? Let us know in the comments section down below. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.